let's get cooking. I'm Mackenzie Ray of Ray Runs Free. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel to be notified about what is moving and shaking in our celestial and terrestrial bodies. Today, I am making pasta four ways. I say four ways because I'm making two different kinds of noodles and two different kinds of sauces. I've been a vegan for about three years now, and I'm also a certified holistic nutritionist and health coach. While I'm not gluten-free, I have friends and family that are, and I love trying out new ideas and recipes. First things first, spaghetti squash. I love squash in general, but spaghetti squash is absolutely amazing. You wanna find a flat place where it won't roll too much. Not every squash has a flat spot, but a lot of them do. So you wanna find the flat spot and then slowly cut down the side. When you get them cut open, they have all of these guts inside. I like to take the seeds out and save them for separate things, but you can also just toss them or compost them. You wanna take a spoon and slowly pull all of the squash guts out. Once the inside of your spaghetti squash is cleaned out, you wanna poke holes on the outside with a fork to allow air to get in while it's cooking. I oiled the inside of the squash and I'm adding salt and pepper to cook. And to make sure they don't burn, I also have some oil on the bottom of the pan as well. These are going in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for roughly 45 minutes. I'm going to check them at about 35 with a fork and turn them over and see how the spaghetti is spaghettiing, but it usually takes about 45 minutes. Next, I am gonna start on my homemade pesto made out of carrot greens. Carrot greens are super high in vitamins and minerals, and they are a really, really great substitute for basil. In a single blender cup, we're just gonna put a little splash of oat milk, add in your carrot greens, then add in the cashews. I prefer to use cashews over pine nuts because they are a bit creamier. I filled the rest of this up with water to cover the carrot greens and the cashews to let them soak and soften while I prep the rest of my vegetables. I'm using a green pepper, a red onion, cremini mushrooms, a head of broccoli, and it goes by dark kale or dinosaur kale. The actual term is lacinato kale. It's very thick and dense, and I love the way it sautés. I'm saving the rest of the carrots for something else. When you forget to film chopping the onions because your eyes water so bad. Whew! Now that I have all my vegetables prepped, I am going to start sauteing them. I already went ahead and put the green pepper in here with a bit of squeezed garlic that I had in my fridge. I do love this garden ground when making pasta, and I usually like to use about a third of the bag. Oh yeah, sizzle, sizzle. I took these out to check. This is still a bit too raw for me, so I'm gonna put them back in for probably at least 10, 15 minutes. I personally try to avoid using oil if I could use vegetable broth. Right now I'm out of vegetable broth, so I'm just keeping a glass of water next to my pan and adding water as needed. While my veggies cook, I am starting to boil my water for my regular noodles. And these noodles are made with chickpeas and lentils. These are also gluten-free. Here we have the spice lineup for the pesto, which has now been soaking for roughly 45 minutes and is ready to blend. What's going on here? Ooh, nice texture. Mmm, 
delicious. Fresh out of the oven. This sort of spaghetti texture looks real nice. For the second sauce, I am just using a canned pasta sauce. I've made my own before, but I already had this in the pantry and I love this stuff. Would highly recommend. In we go. To put on top, I have Follow Your Heart Parmesan, a block of Violife Parmesan that I'm gonna grate on top, and nutritional yeast. If you don't use nutritional yeast, then you need to start. It's a wonderful source of fiber, vitamins, minerals, and it is vegan, cheesy flavor. I put the veggies on the bottom because I'm going to build kind of a half and half bowl of the spaghetti squash and the chickpea lentil noodles. Well, hello, beautiful. Remember that I said this is pasta four ways. I just so happened to put all of them together because that's how I roll. But if you wanted to only have the regular pasta with the red sauce or the spaghetti squash with the pesto or another combination of the two, that's completely up to you. Me, I'ma mix everything together. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.